there a second? So this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And this is what my channel is all about. You never know what you might find when you're walking around. This is a beautiful water snake. We're here on the Tinker Cliff Trail, um, taking a hike with a group from Maine who's been kind enough to, to film us for this impromptu episode on water snakes. Can't tell you how many times these snakes, people say, oh my God, that's a water moccasin, and they feel to kill it. I don't know why anybody has to kill any snake, water moccasin, or copperhead. You can see that the snake is pretty cooperative and more so than most water snakes. The most water snakes I've met have had a, had a bad disposition and they're ready to bite. This one, he feels a little bit cool. I think he was out here on the steps trying to warm his body up. Um, he's probably enjoying getting a little bit of heat from me, so he's tolerating uh, what I'm doing and handling him here. But I'm always so excited to see a, to, to see a snake. These guys, of course, are always found near water. You can see the markings on this. Some people will say, oh my God, is that a copper head? Because he's kind of got a sort of a stout head here. You can see how stout his head is, but not true triangle shape. And copperheads always have an hourglass marking on there. And you don't see any hourglass markings down on the side. On my channel and on my Facebook page, I have countless people say, the first thing they say when they see a snake, they go, is it a copperhead? Is it a copperhead? And well, no, it, it's not. Look for the hourglass things and, and, and don't make mistakes. These guys are good fishermen. They love to be near rivers like this uh, and catch fish. Uh, in Radford on the New River, there's a bike trail there. And I often see the water snakes after a big meal come up out of the water and lay on the, the, the pavement to get warm. And one of the reasons they do that is to boost their metabolism. They've got a big fish in here and you can see it you know, right down in, in their stomach area, they need that warm temperature and that metabolism to digest it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this, uh, put this snake down, release him right back here where we found him, let him go about his business. Feel very fortunate to have found this uh, water snake here today. And I'm very pleased with how cooperative he is. Usually they, they bite and bite and bite Snakes are like people. There's some with some great dispositions and some with not so great. So thank you for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. And remember, if you like my channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I really, really do love hearing from my viewers, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And remember, I cover all things nature. From frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for watching this impromptu episode of Nature at Your Door.